Hello everyone, Bondi here, and um, today I'm going to be starting a let's play of a Harry Potter and a Philosopher's Stone. No, I don't want to start with, with saving. No. Alright, yes. Now just taking a piss. <laughs> let's listen to this cutscene. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket wrap bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter. The boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters, and left the muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? Said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Yep. This is basically uh, my new let's play <coughs> of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And let's listen to uh, whatever his name is Dumbledore. What the hell is up with his face? Looks like a seal! And here is Harry. You can see people. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Alright, so basically, um, there isn't any percentage for this game, so I'm gonna do this. Uh, uh, basically, the main point of this game is basically to collect cards that has names of wizards and... Nitwit, Blubber, Oddment, Tweak, four wonderful words, don't you think? What the hell did you come from? Anyways, um, yeah, uh, we will go to those three, this one, this one, we'll get out, go outside, and here, and, um, yeah, basically, here's one door open. Yeah, for e each kind of those, there are a lot of pictures like this, that basically, you will see. Well now, it's nice to see a new face and a Gryffindor, too. Good for you. I can't remember the last time I opened up. I'm a bit rusty, you see. I'm not sure I still can. However, if you can find out the correct password, I'll give it a go. Off you go, then. But be careful, there are some odd creatures about. So basically, you will have to get a password to open this, and I think that in each one of those, I you collect uh, you collect those cards. And um, as I was saying, th those cards include um, information about wizards and stuff. I believe. I'm not that of an expert at this game, but I got into it lately um, a lot. And um, here is uh, whatever their name is. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. 
If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. Yeah. See you around, Harry. So basically you will have to collect all those beans to open each picture. And they will basically they uh Fred and George will tell you the password to open this those get in those uh, room of the pictures. And also there are some bookcases like this one and if you can't actually jump on we'll see like it, you can jump then you basically press um, square and voila and here we are inside this place and here th this uh, this is a card those are those cards that you need to collect basically Merlin. Yes. And uh, for each card, there is a story behind. So let's listen. Merlin, medieval, dates unknown, most famous wizard of all time, sometimes known as Prince of the Enchanters, part of the court of King Arthur. Yep. That's what the, that was a short information. I was actually expecting those things to have like you know a, a lot of explanations about the thing. And you did the same uh, thing to get back to the uh, same area that you've been before. And um, wait, oh let's get in this this room. Password. Caput Draconis. How oh, Harry knows the password if he just got to Hogwarts. A bit awkward, but okay. So this is the room that you can also. If you lose any stamina, grab a chocolate frog. It will give you back some energy. Yeah, basically those frogs will give you health. And this this book is basically to save your game. And let's read this. Gringotts break in latest. Investigations continue into the break-in at Gringotts, rumoured to be the work of dark wizards. Gringotts goblins today insisted that nothing had been taken. The contents of the vault in question, which remain unidentified, had been withdrawn earlier that same day. Alright. Oh, there is anything. There isn't anything. And also there is the book where you collect all the cards. I'm not sure if you can... Uh, Merlin. Oh, you, we already <laughs> read that thing. Okay, let's go to that girl right there. When you drink a Wigan Wild Potion, it replenishes all your health. Remarkable, isn't it? Yeah, England. Uh, basically, the, this potion that she just showed us, basically, this potion, you can also, uh, later on in the game, you can uh, create potions, but only one potion. There is something that you create potions with it. And um, uh, basically, those potions, um, um, those potions will, if you have like really low health, uh, it will basically, um, you know, back up all of your energy and health. You can see the health bar at the top left of the screen. And also, uh, in this game, as I was saying, you can't jump. There's any, there isn't any buttons to jump, but as you get closer to this bookshelf, for example, it, it, it basically makes you jump automatically. So that's how is the jump technique in this game. And um, yeah, next part, uh, I should actually end this part now, and uh, we will see you in the next part when we will start our first hey, mission. Harry, remember me, Ron Weasley. That slimy Slytherin, Draco Malfoy, ran through this door with an owl under his arm. I think it was your owl Hedwig. Let's go after him. Oh my god. So, we are not going to end it right here, because thanks to Ron. Come on, Harry. Let's find Hedwig. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. Looking for that owl of yours? How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. 
Oh, sorry. You don't have one, do you? Oh, that was kind of an ass move. Isn't Malfoy? Um, yeah, basically, we will... He's a nasty piece of work. Oh, Just God. ignore him. Us Gryffindors should stick together. Seriously, Ron? Really? <laughs> Come on, Harry. Follow me. To climb up, just push forwards on your controller. Alright. Yeah, as I told you people, just to jump, you basically, it's kind of climbing, not jumping, but still. <coughs> Follow me. Mm. Yep. To jump, just approach the edge and keep pressing forwards on the controller. Yep, that's the jumping technique, as I was telling you people. Look, there's another feather. I'll double back and watch the entrance. You better go on and rescue Hedwig. I still hadn't. Uh, I still didn't got what's the point of those feathers. I really never understood what's the point of those. But I guess we'll find we'll find out later on in the game. And here we go. We unlock this door. <coughs> Let's get in. Um, Hello, here's... Harry Potter. My name is Nearly Headless Nick, and I am the Gryffindor House Ghost. God, look how tall this room is. Well, I mean, you must go all the way to the top to get out. If you want to look around, press your triangle button. Press the triangle button again when you've finished. Yep. And here you go. The ghost left. <laughs> the room and yeah we will have to climb all the way up and I don't know what who are in those pictures never knew who they are probably the makers of this game but I still if if anybody knows what's who who is actually in those pictures in all those pictures then tell me because I really have no clue who who are in those pictures who are the people actually in there and here you go. Here is the this frog, the, uh, this frog that can basically give you health. All right. Wait, I I've never came here. Oh shit. What's the point of going up here? I never understood what what was those two for. But anyways, let's go to this room. <coughs> Um. Oh, what for the ah, one? Some snails have escaped from a care of magical creatures class. Careful, they are dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the flipendo knockback jinx from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. <laughs> now, this spell. It's called Flipendo or something like that. It sounds like Nintendo. Uh, uh, I'm not kidding. It sounds like Nintendo. Nintendo! People on Skype actually agrees with me that it sounds like. And yeah, for killing each enemy, I forgot to mention that uh, you get uh, points. You can use your L2 and R2 buttons to rotate the game camera. All right, so that was a kind of a guidebook. Kind of thing that tells you how to rotate the camera and stuff. And here we go. We we got 15 uh, points for um, Gryffindor. <coughs> and uh, what is this area? Let's see. Press the triangle button to view your surroundings. You can also cast a Flipendo knockback jinx from this view. See what you can find to Flipendo in this room. And here you go, there is this platform. As you can see, there is like a little star on it. Hello again. Did you notice that those poisonous snails twinkle? <laughs> Things that twinkle can be affected by a flippendo knockback jinx. This is a jinx block. Your flippendo knockback jinx will move it aside. To move the jinx block, cast flippendo at it. Alright, so yeah, basically you can... Whoop! You can do this. You need to do it a few times so it will go all the way there. Here you go. Alright. 
Um, also here are those some, here's this rat, and see we hit the, with the, to press triangle, uh, if you press triangle, yeah, it's basically for aiming. I've, I've never actually went to this part until, oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure that, like, the. Oh! Wow, that's kind of failure. But I don't think it's. It's, uh. I don't think that getting that frog actually gives you any points, but let's try just one more time. Oh, there you go. No, it didn't give you. It's just for a little health. Uh, in case you got hit by that little rat. But you don't need this, those frogs all the time, so we don't need to collect each one of them. They're just for health. And here he is, the... whatever his name is, I forgot. Uh, what's his name, I forgot? Well, you've made it this far. Now take a look at this. A tall jinx block like this one needs a charged Fipendo knockback jinx to move it. To cast a charged knockback jinx, hold down the cross button to build up the spell before releasing it. Yep. Yeah. Thanks you, thank you for the hit. Uh, hint. What the hell? Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Flipendo, what the hell is this shit? Um, yeah, um, you will have to, to push this thing all the way there. And I still had. Uh, I really don't know what's the point of the feathers. I really don't. And um, what is there? Let's at least destroy this. We and we got, of course, some house points for some nice spells. All right. We open this door. <coughs> Use door. Why? Uh, there are uh, some doors that did. Never long bottom. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. Holy I've shit! I lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Flipendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books, then use your cross button to cast. I never do. I just press um. Oh, here we go. Oh, I never knew about this, actually. That is actually useful. I've never used this thing before. Oh. Come on. There we go. 60 house points. The lever is around here somewhere. There. I found it. And now uh, we don't have anything else to collecting this room, so we're just gonna move forwards. I think this is the part where you rescue the bird. Yes. What the fuck is up with this face? There are some characters, and well, it, it, it's good for a 3D game for uh, back in the 90s or when the, where the hell it was made. Okay, nothing else. A charge for Pendo not breakings might free Hegwood from those bars. Keep the cross button held down to cast one. Yep. Alright, so we'll open this gate for this bird. I don't know what was that for, but I guess that it was uh, thanking for Harry it. <coughs> I see you rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm in Gryffindor too. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice to meet you, Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trevor. Come on, Harry. Let's go. Toad. <laughs> the hell? Did the game just glitch in the cutscene or something? It's like Harry po Harry closed the door in front of 
what's his name? Um, uh, this kid's face. Forgot what his name is. Oh, Ron. Yeah, yeah. Something is wrong with my memory lately. I forget wow. a lot of things. Henry brought you a broomstick. I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me. Yep. So basically, <clears throat> uh, we will start in the next part. I don't want to get any closer to him, or else he will start speaking to me again. If in the, even though you're like in a far distance from him. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching this part, and in the next time we're going to start the broomstick challenge, which is the practice for it. And we're gonna get some more house points, so thanks for watching everyone, and goodbye! Woo!